guys, just give me uh, a couple of minutes. I've just got this document that's just come through, which I want to prove before we get back on the road. My name is uh, Saqib Qureshi. I have an eclectic portfolio of things that I get up to, including developing real estate, investing in real estate, investing in small businesses, typically pre-series A, mentoring a bunch of young people as well. So for the last 12 years, I have been coaching here football, or as you North Americans might call it soccer, uh, to a bunch of younger children, typically underprivileged. And I've been doing that every Saturday mornings during the late spring and summers. If you want something, if you want to do something okay, in life, you go for it. You put your mind, your body, your energy, everything into doing it and you'll succeed. The reason I do it is fundamentally to give them, uh, to give the youngsters some life lessons, the importance of hard work, the importance of taking on each step at a time, delivering on that each step, taking on their responsibilities and their roles, not doing what you want to do on the field, but doing what you need to do on the field in order to succeed. So that relationship between effort, focus, you know, and success is so important um, for younger people to kind of understand. The Bora football team that is famous for playing very attractive football, but is equally famous for not winning very much. They've got the world's best stadium, the best training facilities. They have some of the world's best players and have had, but Tottenham Hotspur Football Club is not known for winning trophies, which is a shame, but I enjoy supporting them. I've been supporting them since 1981. Okay, so I am now gonna go and get changed uh, wear something a bit more respectable and then we'll follow that up with a bunch of site visits to properties that I've either built in Toronto or are in the process of being uh, developed. So we'll do a bit of a site tour there too. Right now we are going to 315 Spadana Avenue, Toronto. It's one of our most important ones. It's a massive project, more than hundred million dollars. So here we are, as you can see, amazing real estate ahead of you. It's just the kind of thing that we would all want to live in, not now, but in a few years to come. So let's step outside, have a bit of a glance, get some vitamin D as you call it. It is actually vitamin D, but we'll call it vitamin D to make, to make you feel at home. Our most recent development, I'm very proud of it. It'll be a terrific addition. It will give a lot of residents good housing in a nice part of town. Uh, no. Yeah, so we're gonna see the first projects that I developed as well as one that's just been completed as well. It's a trip down memory lane. Lots of uh, good memories associated with that particular first step. So I have a daily smoothie uh, which I've incorporated into my diet and I did so because I realized I wasn't getting enough of the right fruits and veg every day. I'm not a big fan of vegetables, so how do I bridge the gap between not being a big fan of vegetables yet wanting to take care of my health? And my way of doing that was to drop broccoli, kale, and then blueberries, strawberries, red grapes, flaxseed, and chia seeds and water into a blender, blend it, and just drink it. So here we are at the very first project that I began here in Toronto in Canada actually it's in Oshawa, uh, back in late 2011. Where we are standing right now is about where I was standing in lots of snow, trying to figure out why nobody had built student housing here before. And um, eventually it took me several months of figuring, that, figuring out that nobody had built student housing here because nobody had built it. There was a massive need for it. The site was perfect, it's across the road from campus, it's zoned for student housing, but everything stacked up, but nobody had bothered doing it. Stacked townhouses, really nice finish, 
rented out really really quickly for an awful lot more than what we had expected you know so that was that so in my spare time i keep fit an hour of exercise typically a day I read non-fiction, the humanities and social sciences, currently doing a bit of a deep dive into religion, into philosophy, I also like politics and history a bit. And I have three young boys, and so I irritate them, annoy them, keep them occupied, answer their questions, watch them grow, enjoy their being. There are many things that I want to do. I'd love to sculpt, I'd love to give my piano practice you know, a good persistent everyday run but I don't get the bandwidth and so those bits and pieces will have to wait for the time being it's the reading it's the keeping fit and it's the boys mm -hmm.